This morning, House Minority Whip uh, Representative Eric Cantor of Virginia joins us uh, from D.C. Congressman, good to see you this morning. Carl, good morning. Um, uh, there's going to be some attention paid to the Job Summit uh, on the White House uh, front, but you guys are going to try to do something on your own, right? Well, you know, listen, Carl, we've got to decide what it is that Washington really can or can't do here. When you've got people across the country trying to live within their means, you've got consumers cutting back on spending during the holidays, you've got businesses laying off people still. You know, what is it that Washington's doing? And right now, Washington is oblivious to all this, and there's a huge disconnect, and the spending continues to keep coming. And frankly, we're continuing to spend money we don't have and borrow that money that's going to be on the backs of our children and theirs. So, We've really got to begin to figure out how we alleviate the harm that Washington's creating. We got jobless claims below 500K. Uh, Becky just told us about the challenger numbers. The fewest job cuts since 2007. The stimulus is about 10% spent. Is it possible that the jobs strategy of the White House is working only slowly? Well, listen, Carl, I think from what I hear uh, at home in my district uh, and elsewhere is uh, that enough is enough. We cannot keep spending this money we don't have. Uh, Washington is not going to be that which creates the jobs. We're going to have to look to the job creators. Investors still are sitting on the sidelines, uh, and they're wondering what Washington will do next well, to make I'm, it more difficult But I'm asking you to react to the data we've seen and that shows the job picture is getting better not worse well I mean listen we, we also I, I, I can react to that and I think the numbers speak for themselves uh, we've had over a million job losses this year alone uh, I don't think that's satisfactory uh, and what's off in the future is the uncertainty as to how this country will be able to repay its debt uh, and what we're going to do today is roll out uh, a very straightforward plan with seven points in it uh, that will really be a no-cost jobs plan. Uh, and it'll be very focused on trying to address the problems that Washington has created uh, for the job creators in this country and to try and, and uh, call for an end to the harm that's being created and let's get back on the path towards working together. And there are some common sense solutions that both sides can agree are on. We, are we talking tax credits? Uh, now, listen, Carl, you know, tax credits and, and things like that um, are all premised on the fact that we're going to have money coming into the federal government, if you will, um, and, and we just don't have any kind of surplus in any near future. So we've got to learn to, within, uh, learn to live within our means. Washington's not going to be able to fix every problem there is. Uh, and we've got some proposals on the table that look at the kind of laws and regulations, uh, certainly the rules and regulations that the administration has been implementing. Uh, as well as some of the proposals in Congress that we could just say, hey, wait a minute, let's stop. Let's stop the spending. Uh, let's, let's agree on the situation as far as taxes are concerned. Never is it good in a recession to raise taxes. Well, between jobs and health care, and I know you met with the president yesterday on Afghanistan, there's a lot to do uh, over the coming days. Time is short this morning, Congressman. We hope you'll come back soon. Thanks, Carl. Uh, Congressman Eric Kander of Virginia. When we come back this morning,